Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about sharing files and folders in Windows 8 with other Windows computers on your network. One of the great features of Windows when we have multiple computers is of course the fact that it can link together to actually share files and folders. So whether you have Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7 on another machine, you can share your favorite folders to get that information from other computers and also sharing your Windows 8 machine with these older computers. How do you do that? First of all, you've got to activate the sharing, the network sharing functions in Windows 7, Vista or XP. That's the first things first. Uh, this video is not going to show you that because we are in Windows 8 here. But we will show you how to access that information from other computers once those computers are set up for sharing. So to actually activate and make sure that you can share on the network, you have to go into your network and sharing full, uh, options in your computer to activate those information. So go into your charms bar on the right side of the screen, either by swiping if you have a touch device, or go into the corners with your mouse to get the charms bar, click search, and start typing sharing. In the list of stuff showing up, you should actually have network and sharing. If you don't see it, you can click the little everywhere tab and go into settings. And if you go there, you'll see that the, uh, you should see the network and sharing center. So click on that and it's going to bring you to that uh, sharing center, which is basically the same sharing center that you see in Vista and Windows 7. On the left side, you'll go into the change advanced sh uh, sharing settings. And here you'll have these options. First, you have to turn on network discovery to make sure that your computer can find other networks. You will turn on file and printer sharing so that your computer can share its own folders and files and printers if you have a printer to share through the network. Then you have all networks. You can click that little arrow that points down and get all the other options. And here you can turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in the public folders. You can also turn on the public folders. Now, the difference is that Windows comes pre-installed with public folders that are kind of the minimal way where you can share stuff, but nobody can access anything else in your computer. It's kind of the secure way of sharing. So you can actually activate the files on public folders. You can also check the file sharing connections and here you have two modes, the 128 bit encryption and the 40 or 56 bit encryption. Now, if you have computers that are very recent, Windows 7, Windows Vista, use 128 bit encryption. It's the highest encryption possible and it's going to protect your files more on the network. But if you have a Windows XP computer, then you are probably going to have to go into the 40 or 56 bit encryption because Windows XP does not have all the latest network advancements of the later uh, Windows versions like Vista 7 and 8. So if the 128 bit encryption um, you can't see your Windows XP files or folders, then drop down to 40 or 56 and they're, they're going to show up in the list of networks. And finally, you can turn on or off password protected sharing. This is the way to protect. If you don't want everybody to access your folders and files, then you'll turn it on. And actually, I'll make a video, separate video about protecting your folder and your uh, network uh, eventually. If uh, you're only sharing between your own computers on your own network and you don't really mind, you can turn off password, password protected sharing. This is my case. I'm the only one using the network here. 
uh, and the other people that are actually ex uh, can access my computers don't really have the knowledge to really find where my uh, folders are and even if they do find it I don't really care because there's no sensitive information on what I'm sharing so you can turn off password protection if you don't want to have to enter a password every time you access a computer once that is done you will click the save settings at the bottom of the screen and this will enable you to start sharing if with another computer you can't find any uh, files or it doesn't see your computer then a reboot of your computer is probably uh, necessary. I've noticed that in most instances when you want to share stuff with other computers and you start and you enable the sharing in Windows, most of the time you have to restart the computer for it to work well. Once it's done, once you've restarted, you should now be able to see the computers that are shared on your network. Go into your File Explorer tab. If you have a um, tile on the Start screen, just click File Explorer. If you don't see it there, you can search for it and go into File Explorer and it's going to show up on your search in the Charms bar. Look on the left side of your computer. You should actually see everything, including Network. If you click Network on the left side panel, you should see all of your computers. Here I see three computers. Tech Guy MTL is my Windows 8 machine. Gerard PC is another computer that I can access through the sharing. This one has a password, so I have to enter the username and the password to access that computer. And I've got my Toshiba laptop with Windows 7. That is Tech Montreal PC here, Tech MTL. If I click that, you see that it shows me the printers that are associated with it. And you can click Users. And if I go to Tech Montreal, I can see my folders. The desktop, I can also see Documents and go into the different files and folders of my documents on my other computer. So you see here, I have access to all the files of my Windows 7 machine. So it's as easy as that. It's very, very simple. but if you don't see anything from your Windows 8 machine, keep in mind that you have to really activate your Windows 7 sharing and make sure that you have folders that are shared. Now, one last bit here is if you want to share a folder on the network for your old other computers, but from your Windows 8 machine, then what you can do is actually go to your favorite folder that you want to share. So for example, I'll go into the file explorer I'll go into Documents, and let's say that I want to share with others, for example, my YouTube video accounts. I have a special uh, folder here with all my information for my YouTube videos. I want that to be available on my other Windows machine. You right-click on the folder and go simply into Share With, and here you will have choices. You can click specific people. If the name of the user is in your computer, you can click here. If you want to have something simple, just click everyone. But if you want to create a special user only one computer can see, then you can actually click here, click create a new user, and create an, a special account for that. But usually, if you don't want to really have problems and you want just to share and you don't mind, the easiest way is everyone. And this is going to be um, the easiest way to share, basically. Once you do that, you have to click the Add button on the right side. And here you have two options. You can have Read. Read means that the other computers can see your files. They can open, but they cannot record. So they cannot replace these files. It's a read-only situation. If you plan on changing, then you'll have read-write. That means that everyone can now see this folder, read to it, and even write to it. So if you're uh, 
in a spot where two or three people might actually use this uh, a document and these people might actually need to uh, modify the document then you'll have a read write possibility and finally you have remove remove means that you can remove the everyone setting and say okay now I don't want to have that anymore um, and it's going to remove the possibility to share this folder so for example here I just do everyone I will add it and I will say I want to read and write to it and then you click share it's going to tell you now this is shared on your computer you just click done it gives you the um, address bar info that you can actually enter into any uh, file explorer or uh, explorer function in Windows 7 or Vista. Once you click done, you've shared this folder and it's as easy as that. So sharing and um, between computers basically in Windows 7, Vista or 8 and also uh, Windows XP with some limited uh, capabilities. So if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a suggestion for a feature of Windows 8 that you'd like us to talk about. Let us know. We'll try to put that video online and you'll be helping others at the same time. And hopefully you enjoy our videos and we'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.